The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by Light Panels, makers of the world-renowned Emmy Award-winning green-friendly LED lighting systems. Check them out at lightpanels.com. Tatsura, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at HD Expo 2009. Thank you for the invitation. You are with Sony and yes. you're holding one of my favorite cameras which I'm recording with, the EX1, mm -hmm. but you've got the newer model, right? Yes. Maybe you can tell us what's the difference between the EX1 and, and what is it called, the EX1R? Yes, it's called the EX1R. Okay, what's the difference? What's sure, new? Sure. Um, we added uh, quite a few new feature sets. For instance, standard F recording which may not be big for U.S. customers, but we are selling the same exact identical model worldwide. And there are a lot of customers from other countries who still want standard F recording. So we added that. Um, other than that, we added HDMI output in okay. addition to HD SDI right. for monitoring purposes. So we replaced the S video out on the EX1 and with an HDMI connector. So that's what we've did. We've did. Um, we also have cache recording on the EX1R, which was not possible on the EX1. So oh. now, is that that means pre-roll your, your recording? Yes, even if you're not um, hitting the record button, up to 15 seconds, you're actually capturing the moment. So you're not missing the, the critical scenes. Oh, fantastic. OK. Uh, can you control that? Can you make it less or more? Yes, yes. In the, menu, menu in the menu, you can select like uh, in, in it, probably in like two or three seconds in increments, like zero to two seconds, two to four, four to six. Got it. So cache recording is made possible. And uh, we also improved the ergonomics of the EX1s a little bit. Uh, we changed the physical position of the grip okay. and the belt a little bit such that it will rest more on your palm and you will uh, get less tire on your forearm. So we changed the ergonomics a little bit. We also uh, made some changes on the buttons over here. So uh, for instance, the power on button, you can accidentally yes. hit it and move it towards media or camera and without noticing you may have drained your battery but on the EX1R, you have to push the green button and really shift it over to the left or to the right. So too. it's like a lock. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I've personally done that with the EX1. I yes. left it on and I get back to the offense and it's the battery's dead. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely. And probably the the, the most significant improve, improvement uh, will be the viewfinder. Okay. It has one two one point two megapixel. Okay. What was um, it before? It was it was half. Okay. Roughly half of that. Okay. So. The, the camera imager, the imagers, the sensors are exactly identical with the EX1. Okay. But with the, better, with, the, uh, with the higher resolution viewfinder, I think you can get instant focus, more precise focus. And also, um, adding to that, we have the auto iris, one push auto iris button over here. Okay. So if you're focusing on um, the, the zoom and the focus of the camera, and you might want to get a quick auto iris right uh, instantly and you just push this button and you that will instantly switch from manual iris to auto iris so those are the feature set that we added on um, what, what about the issue that there was with the ex1 rolling shutter is that cured with the uh, ex1 we will re release a software a bundle software called clip browser 2006 when uh, inside the carton box so that software will eliminate that flash band which may appear when the lights are flashing off. I see, is that software gonna work on the EX1 yes, as well? Yes, it will. It's a it's a, a newer version of Clip Browser, okay. and you can download from the Sony website. Sure. And by using that, the the rolling shutter, or the flash band syndrome, or the phenomena that right. is commonly seen in any CMOS camcorders, be it Sony or be it um, other camera vendors, um, we, uh, Sony, is addressing that uh, with the use of Clip Browser, such that it could be easily detected, and um, we, do, we do have some algorithm in detecting that, so. The megabit rate uh, as that it records in, has that improved at all, or is it still, I think, it's, 35? It's up to 35 megabits per Th second, 35. so that has not changed. So it's similar, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, any, any changes to the buttons themselves, any extra buttons, or? Um, other than the auto wire side I just sure. referred to, um, no, the, it's pretty much the same. I see, okay. Pretty much the same. Maybe I might want to add that uh, uh, the, there's a new SPS card 
a okay. low-cost version of the SBS memory card that will be introduced in December. Okay, and what's when you say low-cost, what um, are you talking about? It's like half the price of the current um, SBS Pro card, and we, have, we will start off with a 32 gig card. It will run a uh, street price around $600. Wow, now when you say start off at 32 gig, does that mean we're gonna see 64? Um, that is our plan. There should be a uh, roadmap uh, going up and starting off with 32 gig, sure. Um, probably very soon we will introduce a 64. I just don't know the exact right, 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 right. timing when as to when that is going to be introduced. I see. And and will the 64 be able to be used on the EX one? Oh this, yes, it will. It's yes. on all of them. But um, there is a firmware upgrade that uh, we will announce probably next spring. Okay. And by users upgrading the firmware of the EX1 or the EX3s, they can also accommodate the low-cost SPIS cards. I see. Any hints you can give us on the EX3? Any EX3R coming out? Um, there's no plan for EX3R. We just kind of finished engineering the <laughs> EX1R. And uh, we have, it's, although it's not shown in the video, we have another EX shoulder mount camcorder. So, when our engineering resources have more time working on other They'll stuff, yes, maybe that might be another discussion topic when we do this interview next time. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time and very good to meet you. Thank you very much.